it, but it just slips between the cracks because you gotta let the rubber balls bounce. I, I read something about their process to where when they grind it, it, there's no heat involved. I guess a traditional mill would heat your grains up. I usually start small when I'm trying a product out because if I don't like it, then, you know, there's not much wagered. Hello everyone, it is Azure Day. My kids have already tagged me with cheese stickers because we always get extra cheese stickers. I have so many cool things to show you, so let's just uh, jump right in. I will try to go slower with some of the brand names this time. Um, I had somebody mention that it was sort of hard to tell what some of the stuff was, so I'm going to go a bit slower. So let's get started. First off, we got some plant starts. Um, when I placed my order, they didn't have a lot of the bigger starts yet, like the tomatoes and all that, but they did have some herbs and I wanted to get these started because we have a new green stock. So I have scallions, cilantro, and parsley. I did buy these last year and they did phenomenal, so I expect them to do well again. We got scout bars. Our kids have been loving these. They have really clean ingredients. So we just, we don't feel bad handing them to them. They're not loaded with, they don't have any added sugar. It's just um, dates. So that's a really great option for when we're on the go or just life is really busy. We have been loving this Desert Essence conditioner. And so we know we like this flavor. So I stocked up on those. And then flavor scent, is that a better word? <laughs> I'm also going to try the coconut and the red raspberry versions. Um, my daughter has been using this too, so I want to get her input on what scent she likes so we can keep stocking that. Also, I've been using my daughter's leave-in conditioner and she's she's three, so it's like, you know, for little kids. Um, and so I wanted to try this and I don't really need a heat protector, but I do have frizzy hair and it would just be nice to have something like that around. Okay, this is the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, and we love this for a couple different things. I was completely bathing the kids with it, but they have switched over to our shampoo bars and our conditioner, um, but I do still use this for bubble baths, and we also use this to make shaving cream, so that's a really good thing to have around. I feel like there's something else I use this for that I'm not remembering right now, but we went through the first bottle, and so I figured I would just get a bigger bottle. All right, we get a lot of frozen veggies from Azure. This is the frozen broccoli. This we like because the florets are really small. They're not big chunks like you get from some other brands in the grocery store. So I absolutely love this brand. Um, we did not get fulfilled on the green beans, but we also love the Azure green beans. So maybe, maybe next month. These are staples. It's the uh, Grazier's grass-fed um, raw cheddar, and we love this a lot. And then this is organic mozzarella. I can't remember what brand this is. Let me see here. I will have to look that up and I'll link it. I don't think it's Azure brand. I think it's something else. I will, um, I'll, I'll write it in the text on the video somewhere, um, let you all know. And I also mentioned that I'm, I try to rotate my cheeses every month because um, I don't love having to buy 10 pounds of both cheeses each month because it's really expensive but our cheese rotation is just off and maybe someday we'll get it back to being every other month but we were completely out and needed both of these again these are both cases of butter it is the um it's the rumiano organic um the top one is sea salted the bottom is um not it's unsalted and it has a green label across it which is really nice for when you're just looking in the freezer really quick um we we went through these cases a lot faster than i thought we would i'm not sure what to do about that other than when we get our pig later this week um or for this season you know i'm going to try to be a lot more serious about implementing the lard we did render all of the fat down from our last pig and we had lard and I'm just not that great at using it. I did use it for some things, but um, I, I didn't, <laughs> this, is, this is what my brain knows how to do. And so if it's a busy night, I just reach for the butter because I don't really want to think about, you know, conversions or how the lard is going to affect the recipe. But I do think I need to start doing that a bit more because we have that available to us and butter is really expensive. So that being said, we love this butter. Okay, this is the 
Pacific Brands Organic Cream of Mush Cream of Mushroom Condensed Soup. Um, we don't cook with stuff like this all that often, but it's really nice to have around, and it's cheaper in this um, this size case. So we'll just stick this on our storage shelf, and we'll have it handy when we need it. We are also building up our cream of chicken, but we weren't quite out of that this month, so I didn't step up to the big case yet. This case down here is just Azure brand diced tomatoes. Nothing fancy there. Um, we do stock, let's see, we stock whole peeled tomatoes, diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, and tomato paste. That may change um, eventually as we, you know, hopefully start growing our own tomatoes, but currently this is working for us. But this is one of those areas where if you want to reduce food waste, canning your own would be so helpful because imagine all these cans that you're throwing away and then you could just wash that glass can and that's what we do with our beans and it it reduces our waste phenomenally it's amazing how much of a difference it makes okay next i am sort of starting to build up some of our um i guess like mexican flavored um items we don't have any enchilada sauce or green salsa we are always running back for this um maybe like 10 times a year I cook with this and it always gets us back in the grocery store at an inconvenient time and then we buy extra things and we spend money we never intended to buy, never intended to spend. So if you know, you know, I guess. Um, and then the enchilada sauce, sauce. The enchilada sauce also, we uh, don't have any of this. I tried to get um, organic green chilies, but they did not fulfill. So I'll try again next month. We don't need those super urgently. Um, which is the nice thing about having bulk storage. You just, uh, if it doesn't fulfill one month, it doesn't really matter that much. You'll get it the next month, hopefully. I'm gonna do these guys next so that they can go back in the freezer. This is celery, obviously. <laughs> um, this is another thing that we keep going back to the grocery store for at inconvenient times during the month. And then we always need like a stalk of it and then the rest of it goes bad because I never have the time to chop it and freeze it. So, um, I know that sounds like a small thing, like I should have time to chop it and freeze it, but it just slips between the cracks because you gotta let the rubber balls bounce, if, you know? Um, so I got this box, hopefully this helps out and it solves that dilemma. Maybe sometime I will just order a ton of organic celery and chop it myself, but this was not a bad price. So there we go. And then wild blueberries, I am switching this over from Costco for the first time this month. Disclaimer, it is probably cheaper at Costco, but we are just trying to get as much off of Costco as we can um, because we would rather support Azure, honestly. Um, and it's just convenient. Uh, I'm getting less frozen at Costco, so now I don't have to rush home after our Costco trip because it's pretty far away and we like to do other stuff when we're up there. So this just works for us. And then these are amazing. We didn't buy organic because it's really, really expensive. Maybe we'll move up to that again. And then I think also, maybe if I remember right, they don't have these pieces in the organic, um, like they don't have organic pieces frozen. Um, and these are so nice for putting in yogurts, um, mainly yogurts, that's, that's how we love it. My husband, my kids, it's just great to sprinkle in there uh, as a snack. Right, so this is the organic avocado oil. I've mentioned before that if I am truly deep frying, like I need quarts of oil <laughs> to cook something, I will use canola still because this avocado oil is really, really expensive. It is $56 for this gallon. Um, but I will use this if I need an oil that has a higher smoke point. Um, so olive oil is not going to work and th this is when I will use that. So if I just need to pan fry something or um, what have you, we reach for this. So we like having this though. We, we do value eating healthier oils and we, do, um, we don't fry all that often. I have been frying a few things in recent videos, um, but that's kind of out of the out of character for us. So anyway, all that being said, avocado oil. <laughs> this is a special treat for the kids. It kind of settled a bit, but I think it'll shake up nicely. Um, sometimes getting milk products from Azure can be a little iffy, especially for us out here on the East Coast, but this always makes it okay. Um, I think you might have to check a disclaimer. Like if this goes bad, they're not gonna reimburse you because you're having them deliver it. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, our kids love getting that in the order and it has really clean, really clean ingredients. So, all right, produce. I 
well, I guess I did still get some potatoes, but I cooled it a little bit. I didn't get a bag of red potatoes. Um, these are gonna go straight in the fridge. Now that it's warming up, these are sprouting super fast in our house. So into the fridge they go. The carrots are good as always. They last a really long time. I think we still have a handful to go through from our last order, but I'm not worried about that. And then sweet potatoes. Um, in the summer, we really enjoy sweet potatoes. I mean, we enjoy them all year round, but as we start making things on the grill, um, steak and whatnot, we definitely enjoy just a side of sweet potatoes. So I got more than normal, and I might even get more next time and buy less um, of these because we're starting to get sick of potato potatoes. Lastly, um, there's some bags over here. Oh, not quite last. I have some bags on the floor too, but this is cornstarch, and I think this might be a new product. I might be wrong, but I think I've tried to buy organic cornstarch through Azure before, and they only had a giant bag, like 50 pounds, and that's just too much for our family. Um, but I was surprised to find this again. I, I always look every once in a while, and, and I was happy to find this. So organic cornstarch, there you go. These I got for the kids to um, put on the table on Easter morning, and... I don't think it's the cleanest ingredients, but it's also not the worst, and it's a fun treat to have. Lastly, we have this bread flour. Azure has a lot of really cool, um, I guess, bread flours. Um, what am I trying to say? Like whole wheat. It's this ultra unifying, but they have all different grinds, and I'm not very educated on this yet, but I do want to see if bread flour makes a difference in our cooking. Sometimes I will take vital wheat gluten and add that to uh, just regular flour to make our own bread flour. So I kind of wanted to experiment with that and this whole wheat bread flour um, and just see what we can do with our baked goods. So anyway, um, I, I read something about their process to where when they grind it, it there's no heat involved i guess a traditional mill would heat your grains up i don't know if you go on their website and you look up this product and you read under under the description you can read about how they mill their flour and i think it yields for a higher nutrition content but anyway don't trust me go read it for yourself this is the redmond real salt this is the second time we've bought this bag and we do really like it uh it is pretty coarse um let me just see if i can find you the jar okay you can see it's pretty coarse and for the most part it cooks up great in food occasionally we get a little bit of a crunch like one of the minerals or something didn't break down and we don't mind it um although i've occasionally made something for somebody and wondered <laughs> like oh boy i hope they don't get a crunch and wonder what the heck is in their food but it's it's good for you it's fine it's it's minerals you need minerals but anyway i digress we like this um Salt is really controversial. If you read about salt and really get into it, there's like, there's people in every camp. You need the Celtic, the, the sea salt, you need the pink salt, you need, I don't know, but we really like this. It comes from a mine um, in the US and yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, and then down here, we just have two staples. We have the cane sugar and we have the flour. Um, I will probably pick this up again next month because we're trying to build up to, we currently only have one five gallon bucket and I would like to have two in rotation just because it makes it easier to buy these sacks. Cause like right now I can't pour this directly in the sugar bucket cause I still have a little bit in there. So it would just be nice to have a second bucket, um, in the rotation. And then of course our flour, I don't know what's going on, but we have not been going through our flour as fast. I was buying two bags of this every month and now we have slowed down a bit to oh hello well anyway <laughs> now we've slowed down to just one so okay oh did i mention this this is a new purchase and i'm gonna try it i would like to have something like this with my breakfast um i struggle to eat enough protein in the morning and when i do i feel great and when i don't i don't feel great so um we're gonna try this and if it's yummy maybe i'll get more next time but i usually start small when i'm trying a product out because if i don't like it then you know there's not much wagered um not much wagered not much lost so and that is everything thank you so much for being here um this video should go out on saturday and then the next week we will have our video um, 
for picking up our bulk hog uh, purchase. I want to do like an unpacking uh, video, so I'll show you every single thing that comes out of the box um, and goes into our freezer from that. And then we're gonna have some cooking videos. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna get around to filming because I'm traveling here shortly. So we will just, we'll just see. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you. It's great to chat with like-minded people in the comments and I just, I super appreciate it. So I hope you all have a great week and I will talk to you later. Bye.